In the last video, we learned how to link data to our components. However, we wanted to customize this list a little bit more. So let's explore how you would do that. If you wanted to have a title, you could click on this component and edit it, or you could hide it or delete it entirely. So let's say you wanted to add an image to this custom list. To do that, you would go to this plus button and click on the image component and drag it into your custom list. And you'll see that it copied over to the rest of the list. Now, if we wanted to move things around, we can. And whatever change we make on the first level will carry down to the rest of your list. And you can always add more information. So if we also wanted to add how old each dog is, we can copy these components and paste them and then change the data. The image source we are going to pull from our database. So we are going to pull the current dog's photo. And if you wanted to have rounded corners, you could go to edit styles and mess around with the rounding or move around the image like this. So now I want to change one of these buttons to be a favorite button. So I'm going to delete this component. I'm going to add a toggle, which is a component under buttons. And now I need to select what this toggles. And it's going to be logged in users, dogs favorited. And I'm going to change the active icon to be a favorite. And I want the active color to be a red. And the inactive icon will be another favorite icon, but with just the outline. And then we are going to add an action, which will be update logged in users dog favorited column with this current dog and click done. However, if the user is not logged in, then this creates a problem. So as a result, we are going to change the visibility of this toggle and we are going to change this to sometimes visible and it will be visible if the logged in users email is not equal to empty. So essentially this will only show if there is an email address, which would imply that the person has logged in. So let's test this out real quick. I'm going to preview and I'm currently not logged in. So let's go to adoptable dogs and you'll see that the heart is not visible. Let's go back and log in. And now we can see the heart. And if I click it, it turns to red. And now let's head into Adalo, into our database. And now I have a dog showing up in my dog favorited column. So the last thing I wanna do for this toggle button is I want to add another action which is a modal, which you can find by going to link new screen and under miscellaneous, you'll have a modal option here. And this is going to be a favorite modal. And we are going to create a screen. And the transition when you are doing a modal transition or a modal screen, it's always going to be modal as well because it's technically not a new screen, it's a pop-up. So let's click done and let's go find that screen that was created. And this pop-up is going to say, this pup has been added to your favorites on your profile. And the okay button, we'll link back 
and this means it will go back to the screen that brought the user to this pop-up. So we're going to change the primary color uh, to black. And then for cancel, we want it to either link, we want it to link back, but if they cancel, we also want to update the logged in user favorited dog and remove that current dog. So let's go try it out. So as you can see, it's a pop-up, not a new screen. And now we hit cancel and it removed the active color. So now that we have that set up for our toggle, let's go back and finish setting up our list and addressing this button. So for the button, I want to change this to a contain button and I want it to be more info. And the action is going to link to a new screen, which will be more info, adopt, and then we need to choose an info template and hit create screen and hit done. If you want, you can stylize your button a little bit more or add more information to this page. We will go to that screen that we just created and the image source is going to be database current dog photo. If there's no image, don't show anything. And we are going to change this text to be the dog's name. So we'll delete this text and then click on our magic text icon and do current dog dog's name. And then for this text, we wanted to be a description, uh, but we didn't make a description property for our dog collection, but that's okay. We can quickly hop to our database and go into our dog collection and add a text property called description. And now we'll hop back over to our card and now grab our current dog description. And then we can do a button that says contact and remove this icon. And our add action will be a link to a website. And instead of linking to an actual URL, we are going to do um, like a mail to, and then you would enter in the email address of like an info at dot com type of email and hit done. And now when someone wants to reach out to a shelter to get more information about a dog, they can hit contact and it will open up their email client. And now you would go back and do the same for your foster dog screen. So real quick, I'm going to go into my database and add in a, go to my records and add in a description for Ollie, hit save. And now let's go preview our app. And now the description is coming through. Our picture is a little messed up, but we can go and fix that by going to our more details page, clicking on the image, and we can say show full image if we wanted to. And then we'll go ahead and fix this app bar color to be more on brand, and there we go. And that's how you customize a list and use toggles, change visibility, and create modals with a dollo. In the next video, I will show you some more advanced things you can do with a dollo. I'll see you there. <laughs>